You're gonna need toothpicks, some scotch tape, a white nail polish and a base coat or top coat of your choice. And then an assortment of colors that you will be wanting to use on your nails. And you'll also just be needing a bowl that you don't mind getting messed up filled with room temperature water. You want to start off by taking a white nail polish. And just, this is just trying to glaze this white on white. And you're going to paint your nails. And you may need two coats to get a opaque color. After it dries, you're going to want to take your scotch tape and take at least four pieces to line the outer um, flesh around your fingernail to protect your skin from the nail polish. Just like that. And I went ahead and did that to the rest of my nails. What you're going to be doing is taking your nail polish and just putting one drop each of the color you want and putting it into the water. I was having some trouble with the yellow. And when doing this, I would suggest only doing three colors at a time or else it might come out kind of mixed. I didn't um, know this until further on, but later on I'm only going to be doing three colors per nail. And then you're going to Take your cute, uh, toothpick and swirl it around and then just stick your thumb into it. Before moving on to the next nail, I would just uh, swirl the toothpick around the water to get the extra nail polish out of the water before you'd start. And see here, I only used three colors, and this one actually came out really nice. I'm just collecting the excess, and you can use any color combinations you want. I would suggest sticking to cooler colors and not mixing them with warmer colors just so you don't end up with a ugly brown color here I kind of mixed it up a little bit though and you swirl it and you stick your finger in and then you're going to want to let that dry completely and I'm just going ahead and doing my other hand I really liked only using three colors because you can see the colors more clearly. And sometimes you'll have some access to be able to use two fingers like I just did there. And then once they're completely dry, that's when you can take off the tape surrounding it. You want to wait till it's dry so that you don't really mess up the nails. Like here, I kind of messed up my thumb, but it still looked okay. And 
And then you just do that to both your hands. And then you're going to want to put a top coat just to kind of secure it all. And that's the end product and I hope you enjoyed.